Greetings, and we trust that you are having a wonderful day in the Lord, uh, journeying with Him, uh, recognizing that every day is a gift from God. And we could say, this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and we will be glad in it. This week, we've been uh, looking at the subject of uh, the motives of our hearts. Uh, we looked in the early, early part of this week on wrong motivations. And then we started talking about what are some of the right motivations that we should maintain. We said, first and foremost, we should do everything to the glory of God. Secondly, we should be motivated by love. And thirdly, we should be motivated with humility. And that's what we want to talk about today. The Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians 5 verse 21, as he talks about uh, life of the spirit, a spiritual life. He says, submitting to one another in the fear of God. Peter writes in 1 Peter 5, verses 5 and 6, he says, Likewise, you younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another. Be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. So, when we operate out of humility, motivated by humility, or another word that the Bible uses is meekness. Uh, we look, look at these as synonymous humility or meekness. When we operate out of that uh, in the place of submission, meekness and submission and humility, we are properly motivated. Opposite of this would be pride, would be arrogance, would be uh, uh, selfish ambition, which is the opposite of a motivation of meekness and humility. When someone is motivated by humility, that they are moving humbly before God and man, we are not afraid to walk in submission. See, the natural man thinks that he has to always have his way. He always has to have his way through. But a spiritual man understands the power of meekness. Meekness is not weakness. Meekness actually places us in a very powerful position because God extends grace in those moments to us. So when we are motivated out of humility that is willing to just submit and serve, the Bible says that God extends grace to us and God himself lifts us up. So rather than us trying to push our way up, when we step down, God exalts us. God lifts us up. So we need to check upon our motives and say, am I walking in humility at this time? That means am I walking in submission to God and people? And notice what Peter said. Peter said, all of you be submitted to one another. So it's not just young people submitting to the old but it's all of you submitting to one another. That means everybody is walking in humility. And that's the way for us to walk. To walk motivated by humility, as opposed to being motivated by pride and arrogance. And when you walk in meekness, you are in a place of great strength because God is lifting you up. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us to be rightly motivated in life, in all that we do, that we may be motivated to glorify you, motivated by the love of God, and motivated by true humility. We ask this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.